Hey guys, what's happening? So, once again, jumping right back into more conversation about the Avengers Endgame trailer, I wanted to talk a bit more about what I'd mentioned about Shuri and her status being missing but not confirmed dead. Because as soon as I uploaded that video, I was going on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere everybody was just like, RIP Shuri, like the trailer just confirms that she's dead. But personally, I beg to differ for a few reasons and I wanna talk about those real quick. And my first reason is when we see Banner looking at the different pictures while they're at the Avengers headquarters in the red, each one of their statuses between Scott Lang, Shuri, and Peter Parker, they all say missing. Which makes sense because coming out of Avengers Infinity War and the different battles happening on their various locations, at the beginning of Avengers Endgame, they won't really know who's alive and who's not. And with them here appearing to be assessing what Avengers are still alive, along with important characters who are also assets to the team, like Scott Lang and Shuri, and I'm sure when we see the film, there'll be many more, like Nick Fury, Maria Hill, so on and so forth. But because of the cause of death during the snap there are no bodies laying around so they cannot really have like confirmed kills and because there are no bodies they'll most likely use like security footage from the time of the incident to kind of track back who lived and who didn't and just assuming that they are using that method it would explain why when Scott Lang pulls up to the front gate one of the reasons why Steve Rogers believed that this was old footage being that they were reviewing footage to find other Avengers and possibly at this point that some time has passed but with Scott Lang who showed up at the gate who previously was given the exact same status status is missing, which was the same status for Shuri and Peter Parker. Because of this, we know that just seeing them on the screen doesn't confirm that they died. But we know as the viewer, as far as Peter Parker, that he definitely died on Titan. But the Avengers won't know that until Tony and Nebula arrive back on Earth, which will also likely happen close to the return of Captain Marvel, like I mentioned in the previous video. But now that we've covered Scott Lang and Peter Parker, one that we know to be alive and the other we know is not alive. And like I said, I'm sure there's others that they review, Nick Fury, Maria Hill and possibly even Clint Barton at this point before Widow figures out that he's alive and actually finds where he's at. But as far as Shuri, who he had last seen in Wakanda being attacked by Corvus Glaive while she was trying to remove the Mind Stone from Vision, we'd seen her fall a few feet without sustaining any fatal injury. But like I mentioned before, not long after Avengers Infinity War premiered in theaters, the Russo brothers did an interview with the Huffington Post where they freely told the status of a number of people who survived the snap off screen but it wasn't seen in the film. And out of the names that came up in that conversation, Shuri was one that they would not confirm or deny. And the article actually had a quote from Joe Russo saying, spoiler, in response to the question. And in addition, Huffington Post went on to say that the Russo brothers have, in other interviews of course, mentioned the possibility of them using Shuri as the Black Panther at some point in one of the upcoming films. Which to me sounds like plans that they had for Avengers Endgame that they didn't want to spoil so quick. And that could be Shuri taking on the mantle of Black Panther in Avengers Endgame, which I still feel like is kind of a stretch because with T'Challa dying as the active Black Panther and him not being defeated for the mantle before dying, the only way I could kind of see this working is if we had the reverse of what happened in the comics, both where Shuri died as the Black Panther and T'Challa was still alive, but just the other way around. And if we take that storyline from Time Runs Out and just flip it the other way, since in the film T'Challa is dead and Shuri is still alive, that would begin to give us an explanation of where Shuri could be. Because in the films, if she she's taken the same route or a similar route to what T'Challa did when he was in her shoes, then by all means, whether she's become the Black Panther or not, it's very likely she's trying to figure out a way to reach her brother, either by reaching him through the ancestral plane or much like T'Challa who didn't just stop there. But if they do take this route, and not necessarily as a way to bring T'Challa back, because when he does return, I believe it'll be done with everybody else. But it's possible that with some of what we see, that this could plant a seed for us getting T'Challa in the next film becoming the king of the dead which of course if we got that in the films it would be much different than what happens in the comics because in the comics when Shuri died T'Challa approached Bast and it was there that she had dubbed him the king of the dead this granted him the knowledge of all the previous Black Panthers and not to say that it has to go this deep in Avengers 4 or that it has to go down this exact same way all we'd really need is just an explanation of her pursuit and that explanation alone will set us up nicely for Black Panther 2 and also for a Secret Wars film which the Russo brothers have also played around with the idea in interviews. 
but that'll do it for this one guys i mainly just wanted to cover some of the bases about at the time of this video how we don't know for sure that shuri's been killed in a snap while also giving you guys just a little reminder about the russo brothers being very covert about her role in this film early on and then on top of that just sprinkling a few theories in there as well and once again not to say that all these things will happen in avengers endgame even though it will be about three hours long and for the record i wish it was four avengers 4 phase 4 just makes sense but rather i just wanted to drop a few ideas out there hear what you guys think and really just get the conversation stirred up but that'll do it for this one guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments and we'll do it again in the next one all right later